think that is better. Hi everyone, how is everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Oh my goodness, it is 101 degrees right now. And like I came from inside the house, so it's a little, it's like cooler. Also my hair is going crazy because it's like humid and I'm like, I'm like literally went outside. My hair is like literally all going all over the place already. I thought like having shorter hair during this time would help me out but it's actually worse I think <laughs> I don't even know like my hair is naturally like wavy going on the verge of almost like curls sometimes it is sometimes it's not it's just like out of control but I always straighten it like blow dry it and all that stuff but and then when it gets humid like my roots always get crazy and right now my hair just like went nuts I feel like two seconds ago like it was okay but anyway how is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all having a great day or night whenever you guys are watching this. It is Sunday. Last night was an awesome live sale. Again, thank you so much for everyone that joined. You can watch the replay if you like. I have that still up. Check the description box of that video for the items availability and the pricing. Right now, I'm actually heading over to drop off the items that sold to Vadrian so that the items can be shipped out this coming week. And then I'm going to head over to a thrift store too really quickly and then head home because my cousin is still here and we're just gonna hang out the rest of the day and we're gonna have dinner at the house it's gonna be really nice so I wanted to come back for that but um, they're beat from yesterday <laughs> so I'm just gonna go by myself really quickly uh, my sister and my cousin and my brother they're just like hanging out and just relaxing for the rest of the afternoon I think they're gonna get a boba or something which is good because if I go with them I'm gonna get tempted to get one and I cannot have boba too many calories and yeah you don't need that you don't need it you know like one boba ball has like 20 calories or something crazy i don't even remember but it's nuts but we're gonna go thrifting see what we can find and i'll see you guys over there all right guys we're at the goodwill here in anaheim off of lincoln state college just go inside check it out it's such a beautiful day today it's actually nice and cooler here too it's only like 92 degrees instead of like 101. Ooh. Oh, look at this crate. This is nice. That one is $80. Oh, that mirror. It's like for a dresser. Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's only 60 bucks. That is a dirt magnet though, but it is so cute. It's like boucle. Tell me it has storage. It doesn't have storage. Bummer. They also still have the arbor too. 200 bucks. I actually think this is on sale right now. Green is 50% off. Oh, there's so many bags right now. This is the one that looks like a um, Loewe bag, but it's like a Target one. What is this? This is cute too, but I think that's um, not like real leather. Yeah. What else do we have here? Wife of the party. <laughs> that's funny. Um, it's also pleather. I think these are all Target bags. This guy, I think this is also pleather, six bucks. Yeah. And we have a Vince Camuto. This is actually kind of nice. I like the leather on this. Hold on. How much are you? Let's see. And, oh, they wrote it right there. Looks like it is 15, $15. I'm just gonna hold on to it for a little while. Let's look and see what this guy is. This one, it's kind of cute, it's like a woven. That one, Eileen West. Um, I'm trying to see if this is leather or not, but I think it's pleather. Actually, maybe it's leather. Hmm. See. Oh, it's just here right there. Genuine leather. Ah, that one is also pinning down to $13. All right, Eileen West bags are pretty pricey, but let's see how much they actually sell for. Okay, the pricing is a little all over the place, uh, but there's the one that's 145, 15, 30, 20. So it kind of is all over the place, but I don't know, it's kind of a cute bag, but 
Let's see what else we can find first. We also did have this B. Mikowski right here, but the stitching is coming undone in some of the areas, so don't want to get that. But they have a lot of bags today, so I don't know. Maybe we'll find something cool. Um, lots of Target, pleather, vegan leathers. I'm always hesitant to like vegan leather bags for the most part because they like to start peeling. So unless like, like it's like super like good quality vegan leathers, I'm like, okay, but Lion King, what is this guy right here? Charlotte Russe. Um, this one is Guest by Marciano. I think their bags are actually leather. This one's a Target bag. Like that metallic color with something with sticky that I just touched right now. Kind of gross. <laughs> they have this Margo bag right here. I think this one's like seven bucks. Or is that sticker that I saw earlier? Um, oh, there it is. It is, yeah, seven bucks. Maybe. There's this red Vince Camuto, which is nice, but there's pen marks all over it. Uh, there's a B. Mikowski right here, this is 12 I like the color of this. Oh, uh, there's stains on the front though, do you see that? Hmm. What is this guy? That's pleather, but this one's a DVF. Like a DVF large bag. Pillow time. These are always fun, like little circular pillows. I don't really need any of those. A little Monstera. That's kind of fun. Oh, beach pool chair things. A Dyson box, but with no Dyson on the inside. I mean, I feel like just the box is pretty nice. I wonder how much these resell for. $12.99. Okay, let's see what else is here. Now I'm wondering, like, did they donate the Dyson as well? But I feel like that's like kind of doubtful. <laughs> they probably just like didn't want the case. But I mean, anything's possible. I've gotten a Dyson vacuum a couple times, and a Dyson. Oh, I they got the hair dryer, so it's possible, right? Especially because it came out with that new version of the air wrap as well, like the newer one. So maybe people are donating their Dysons. Who knows? This is a cute tote bag. I think this might be like a Brighton or something. I think it might be Brighton. Uh, say something on here. Uh, no, it doesn't say anything on the little thing. But I'm pretty sure this is Brighton. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, I think I just spotted a transport tote. I think this might be a transport tote by uh, Madewell. Oh, and it is. It is a transport tote. We're definitely gonna get this. It's missing the crossbody strap. I mean, that's cool. Um, how much is this? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Four nine nine. Not bad. We're finding some stuff today. I'm pretty excited. I wonder what other goodies we can come up on. Gosh, you guys, I have been wanting this Monstera Leaf floaty for so long. I cannot believe that it has finally arrived at the thrift store. So $14.99. I think I'm going to have to get one. At least one so I can have one. And then if they go on sale, you know, Hadrian's going to be buying up a couple more. The sloth is hilarious. I also do like the watermelon. So these are super fun. Uh, when these go on sale, I'm definitely gonna be picking up more. I think this is travertine. It's like a travertine stone tray. Decorative, oh, it's a Studio Mickey uh, Threshold collab for Target, 25, but it's $15 here. It's kinda nice. Looking through the knickknacks, look at this little horse. Oh, someone made that. That's cute. That little kitty cat. This little guy is kinda cool. $7.99. Oh, summertime. Oh, these are from Target, I think. 
summertime. Oh, these are so stinking cute. These are Tarjay ones. Look at that toucan, it's so cute with the leaves. There's only four plates though, and then we have four of these guys. There are these, but mm, those are all right. There's that cool blue and white fit underneath, but no. Oh, these bowls are kind of pretty. Pepper and vetiver. Hmm. It looks like a jacket, like a little sweater. Oh, this is Ralph Lauren. Nice. Oh, I wonder if there are any plates. Oh, these are kind of fun too. Look at that. Grace's tea wear. Anything over here? Anything, anything, anything? No, no, no. Ooh. This is pretty. Two like this. Just found the matching bowls. These are cute too. Oh, look at this. Parge? Parge. Look at this. Hold on, these are kind of cute. These are little Ray Dunn heart plates. Oh, they're $3.99 each though. So it's so oh, be mine. Love. For, perfect for Valentine's Day. These plates are kind of cute too. Threshold. How cute is this plate? Oh, Mother's Day. I love that. Are there any other little goodies right here? These cups are cute. I think these are from Target. Little birds. Little cat tie. Okay, decorative. I see you. And of course, gotta check the crystal out and see if we can find anything here that is kind of cute but also kind of haunted this is also fun 10.99 oh, i wonder what that means oh, look how pretty this is 10.99 it's like a little person i don't know what that is uh oh look at this christmas tree cactus oh that's funny um what I'm looking for is like anthropology or like Pottery Barn, um, West Elm. Look at that butterfly one. Hold on, that's kind of cute. Let's just set that guy down over there for a second. Let's look at the butterfly. Um, this is pretty, right? That's like brand new too. That would be a cute gift. Also, this one is fun too. Like the print on there. And... Oh! William Sonoma. This is one of the letter, the letter mugs. Yep. Oh no, Pottery Barn. Two ninety nine. Should we get this? Do I know anyone whose name starts with a T? First of all, T. But this is beautiful, right? Like, can you imagine drinking coffee out of that? Let's just hold it for a second as we look at some more uh, thresholds. And this is so cute. See for chameleon. <laughs> that is fun. These are pretty cute. We got a Starbucks. This one's red, $7.99. I like this one too. But it's like kind of dented. Uh, these are from Target. Target. So much stuff like they have these lol things nana surprise dolls everything all right you guys we just got to the next goodwill this is the other store in anaheim this is off of euclid so let's go inside check it out oh those chairs are so cute all right let me see what kind of bags you can find i was seeing a lot of these same bags at the other goodwills too this is a lot of the um the target bags that the stores have been getting. Oh, this is a fake Tory Burch. It's made of pleather. It's crazy, $7.99. Uh, Dio Neo. Fake Dior. Look like Dior. What does it say on the inside? Look at the logo. What's this guy? I think this one's leather. 
Oh, it's Junior Drake, I think. Whoopsies. Pleather backpack. This is like a Chloe, I think. It's missing some zippers. Oh, no way. This is a Chloe. Why are all the zipper pulls missing? It's 10 bucks, though. Hot diggity dog. We found a Chloe bag. And this one's authentic. I can tell. I've seen this bag before. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, how exciting. I'm so excited. I wonder what other bags we might come across today. What is this? A fossil? Oh, it is a fossil. Okay. Uh, how much are you, fossil bag? $7.99. Oh my gosh, it's another fake Tory Burch. All these bags just want to come home with me today. Look at that. But I think that might be it. Um, this looks maybe what is that like an Elliot Luca or something? But mm. that is a nice bench. Look at that. Looks almost pottery varnish, right? Look at that, you guys. I found like these little Mario Kart things. I think the boys would like these, especially Elizo. Okay, you guys. I hit the jackpot. I was like looking through like the hats right here. I found a gazillion Nike hats. Like they're all just different colors and they're all like $2.99 or $3.99 each. So score on that. So I'm getting all these guys. I'm just checking to make sure I didn't miss any because some of them were just like hiding. Oh, there's a Yeti one. No, I don't need that. Uh, but yeah, what's this guy? Sunday. Interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna give the hats to like my brother and my cousins. And then maybe sell some, do some giveaways or something. Look at all my hats. Oh, I saw these at another store too. They were $3.99 each. Oh no, $2.99. I bought a bunch of them already. So I'm actually going to wait to see if I can get them half off. And then I'm going to buy even more. But I'm also waiting for these bigger ones to go on sale. Because these big ones are expensive. <gasps> this is only $4.99? Stop it. Are these big ones really only $4.99? Hold on. I like paid a lot for... Oh, this one, the boys are gonna love this. Is this expensive? Dry, float, socializer. Oh, that one's expensive, that one's 20 bucks. Uh, which is the water, or pineapple one. Pineapple, $4.99. That's actually not too bad. Okay, we're finding some fun stuff. Oh, look at these. Those plates are kind of fun, hold on. They look like, um, I forget what they're called, but Terrazzo. Those are from Target and they're Melamine. These are pretty cute. Uh, but not exactly what I am looking for. Mm. Charlie's Crab Shack, that's so cute. But do we have any cool like plates here today? Oh, what are these? It's like a cool geometric print. There, oh, neat Burkis for Target. Those are cool. Oh, look at these. They're like little ducks. Oh, little ducks. Ooh, what are these? Pie. Oh, the color's coming off or the print's coming off on those. Sorry, you guys were like a little zoomed in. I apologize. I'm getting excited to find some good stuff. Oh, I have this. I thrifted one of those here. No, not in this particular store, but at a Goodwill. A little bit ago. I don't think I see... Are these Ralph Lauren? Wait, what does that say? Okay, they weren't actually Ralph Lauren. They just kind of looked like it. Look at that Starbucks mug. This is the... Gold mermaid one, I think. Yeah, this one's cool. I don't have this one. Two ninety nine. We're considering it. I probably shouldn't get it because I have so many mugs. But I, I need that one in my collection. I love like the mermaid stuff. So I think I will get it. I definitely need to have like a mug sale soon, or do like a mug giveaway, or something. Whoa, 
This is for salad dressing, I think, yeah? I don't even know. That's cool. It looks like the one that I have for salad dressing, but like on steroids. Like it looks way more intense than the one that I got. Okay, I gotta be fast because I gotta head home already because we're gonna have dinner with the family. I think we're gonna do some Korean barbecue outside today. So that should be a ton of fun. But I just wanna be able to see everything really quick. See if there's anything. This is pretty. Oh, why is it so heavy? Things remembered? Oh, yes. Do you guys remember that store? Do they still have those at the mall? Things remembered where you can get like everything personalized with like your name on it? Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting. We got a ton of stuff today and it was a super fun quick trip um, to go thrifting. I didn't really go to too many stores today, pretty much um, just like what was it? Like two or three? I honestly don't even remember. Uh, <laughs> I filmed like this thrift, like thrift trip like a week ago. Some of the items that I bought already sold. So these are the items that didn't sell or things that like I just bought for uh, myself or I was going to give to someone else. So let me start off with these. I got a bunch of these. Uh, what are these called? They're, they're inflatable things for the pool. The boys love them. Um, they are always, like, popping them because they just, like, get crazy. Like, they jump on them and their friends jump on them. Uh, my cousins jump on them. <laughs> we jump on them, like, so then they inevitably pop. Uh, I know, like, some of them, like, sometimes they come with, like, those little patches that you can use to try to patch them up. Those never really work. They're just like a quick fix to maybe get another few hours out of them. And then after that, it's kind of over. So I like to stock up on these, especially when they're cheap. These were uh, like $3 each, which is still kind of expensive because at one point I was getting these for like a dollar, dollar fifty, And I think these are actually going to go on sale hopefully really soon. So then I'll pick up some more when they go half off. So then these would actually be a dollar fifty. Uh, we also give them to like our neighbors, my like nephews, friends, or um, my cousins that have pools too. So these are just like great little like... You know, so I got um, a bunch of these smaller ones. I think I got one, two, three. I got five of the smaller ones, which are great. Put those back there. Uh, I really like this one. Eliza was really excited for this one. He really wants to use it soon. And I just thought this was so fun. I've never seen a flamingo with like the little legs. I thought that was cool. Then, this is another one that the uh, that Eliza likes. Pineapple one. And this one is my personal favorite. This is a giant tropical palm leaf. This one was actually kind of expensive. Uh, this was $14.99. But I remember seeing this at Target thinking, I hope I see that at the Goodwill. And when it does pop up there, I'm going to get it. So, if these go on sale and these are still available i'm definitely gonna get at least one more of these because i think these are so awesome monsteras are one of my favorite plants and these are so so cool so i'm really excited about getting that um then i also got a bunch of hats so i got a bunch of these nike hats uh, one of them, Zachary already took. It's It was like a bright orange. It was like the same color as this. Like the brim like of this hat. Uh, but he already took it. My sister went, uh, like washed it already. He wanted to wear it. So um, that one's gone. But I got all these. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I got eight hats total. They're all Nike hats. And they're all $3.99. And... Yeah, they're just like great hats. I don't know. Um, pink. I got two of these blue and orange ones. I got a light orange, a neon yellow, and then two white ones. Uh, these are different though. Like one has like is black underneath and one is white. So yeah, I mean these are all pretty cool. This this is like an oh this one's from the Nike. This is a Nike Fit Dry. This one's the Dry Fit. I don't know what the difference is. Dry Fit. I think the rest of them are all 
like dry fits, dry fit, uh, dry fit, and then these last two are, ooh, feather light dry fit. So I honestly don't know the difference between any of these hats. They honestly all look the same to me. And unfortunately, none of them like fit me really well because I have such a large head. And since I was like doing a haul with a bunch of hats, I decided that I was also going to wear a hat. This is actually a, um, what is it called? An Alexander McQueen hat that I got recently. I don't even, I think I might have forgotten to show it in a video. But also I just cut off all my hair. So I have... <laughs> <laughs> no more hair. It's a long story, which I might have told already in another video, but um, I said I was going to cut off, like, a lot of my hair, and I just literally cut it right before filming this. Um, so, there it is. This is the shortest I've ever had my hair, I think, ever. I don't remember ever having hair this short. It is really really short and it looks even shorter because I was wearing that hat and it's kind of like pushed down my hair a little bit but um long story short a lot of my hair fell out when uh I've been kind of like trying to like lose weight I was like on a little like health journey with my mom and I lost over 50 pounds like probably almost 60 at this point and it happened like pretty quickly at first and then um every time like i do one of these like kind of diet things this is probably like the third time or fourth time fourth time i think that i've done something like this makes my hair fall out like intensely like my hair fell out a lot like I, it was the most it's ever been and my hair like has started growing back like i feel like it is so much more like full now right like it doesn't look like if you saw it before it wasn't as obvious because I had longer hair before but what also uh tends to happen is I get kind of like um little like spots of alo is it alopecia um so I had like a couple spots and they were just like all on this side and they were like all kind of like right here and when my hair was longer I didn't really notice and then I was cutting my hair shorter and I noticed that like, I was like, what, like, did I like accidentally cut too much hair off? Like right here. And like, it was like, all my hair was like laying kind of funny. And I noticed that there were like a couple patches where my hair was like a lot shorter, like significantly shorter than the rest of my hair. And I was like, oh, like these were probably like patches where my hair just like fell out completely. And they grew back um, when my hair started growing back. And... That's why they were like all like the same length in like those weird little patches. So I pretty much just cut all my hair on the top. Like I think I cut, I try to cut the sides like shorter. So it's like a little bit more like kind of faded, I guess, which I probably did a really bad job because I'm, I'm not used to cutting my own hair this short. I can do it on other people, but not myself. So let's just <laughs> put the hat on until the hair grows back. But I mean, it's pretty liberating. Like I've never had such short hair and it's, feels really cool not having like hair when it's so hot i know like this just happened but it's been hot like even at night recently and i just like went to go um walk the dogs for the last walk of the day and it was nice i was like wow i can feel the breeze like it was it was good so i don't know i kind of like it it might be i feel like it's a little too short right now but my hair grows relatively fast um so hopefully in like a month, it'll look a little bit more normal. Um, I was trying to like, it was, I know this is like, <laughs> no one probably cares, but I was slowly like cutting it shorter and shorter and shorter to try to like match this side. But it was just like looking so crazy because this side was like so much more full. And then like it had this side where like I was like short and like my hair was kind of going in funny directions. And now it looks like... I hate, like, this little thing right here. What is this? I also try to keep, like, this little patch in the front, like, a little bit longer. But I feel like it looks weird on camera. Like, it just looks funny. Maybe I should just cut all of it the same length. Because I try to keep, like, this little patch right here a little bit longer. So I'd have, like, a little kind of, like, volume or something. So that, like, not all my hair is, like, super duper short. But I feel like it just, like, looks lame. So... I feel like a lot of my hair, like, right here, never kind of, like, really grew back. So, like, my hairline looks like it's going crazy. 
but I'm not used to seeing, like, looking at myself with no hair. This is, like, literally, like, kind of shocking, so I'm just, like, <laughs> I just gotta get used to it. I gotta get used to it. But, like, that's what the hats are for, I guess, in the meantime. And, okay, let me get into the rest of what I got. Sorry, that was, like, such a tangent. Hopefully I remember to cut that out or something, but if I don't, it's whatever. That's why I cut my hair short. But I mean, it happens to a lot of people. Um, and it's like nothing to like be crazy about. Like, I mean, it's just hair. I know we put a lot of importance into like our, like how we look and our hair. Like I know, like I've always been kind of like a little crazy about my hair. And I feel like this is kind of liberating, to be honest. Like the shorter and shorter I cut, I was just like the less and less I kind of cared about it. But now I'm just like, kind of shocked because I went from having like longer hair to like super duper short hair so I don't know if I just had like I'm gonna just like wear hats for a while until my hair grows back but it honestly it's kind of nice oh man I finished all my soda <laughs> but let's get into what else I got up next uh, I have this beautiful Starbucks mug I'm kind of obsessed with this it's really really cute I love the color this was only $2.99, and I have other mugs like this, but this is my first, like, kind of metallic-y one, like this. So, I thought this was really pretty. Uh, does it say what year it's from? Oh, it's from 2019! Nice! And then it's, like, black on the inside, just says Starbucks. So, I thought this was a pretty cool mug. I probably can't put this in a microwave or anything, but... Oh, yeah, I think it says do not put a microwave. I probably can't put it in the dishwasher either, to be honest. Let's see what it says underneath here. Whenever anything's metallic. Yeah, do not microwave, hand wash only. Blah, blah, blah. Let me actually take this sticker off because it's actually coming off pretty easily. And it's probably because it's pretty warm. That's another nice thing about having really short hair. Usually my head gets really, really warm. This is pretty nice. All right, got it off. Okay, up next, let's continue. I got, oh, okay, this one is really cute. This is a, and on this one, they had, like, the sticker on here. I, I, like, took it off, and I thought I put it inside, but I think I lost it. Um, I showed it during one of the lives, so I think I, like, might have fallen out. But this is a Miss Albright crossbody bag. It looks like the Loewe Flamenco um, crossbody bag. So, so cute. It's in this... I believe this is like a nubuck leather and it has like this kind of like line down the middle with a little tassels on the sides for the pulls for the drawstring has the magnetic snap up at the top and the inside is kind of like in this chambray type of fabric there's an open pocket and a zipper and then we have a crossbody strap which is adjustable so this is really really cute I believe I got this one for like ten dollars the bag is in pretty good condition and i i'm obsessed with this style bag i think it is so so fun I, again i am obsessed with the Loewe um flamenco bag i actually have one in almost the same exact style i think it's just a little bit bigger and it's in a cream leather and then i have the tote bag I really want like the mini. I believe like the mini is about like half the size of this and it's so, so cute. One of these days, I'm like manifesting it. I'm trying to manifest it into my life. I think it'll be really, really fun. But this one's a really cute bag. This will be definitely for sale in one of the lives if anyone is interested. Um, and then I got this great tote bag. I know I got other bags too. When I got this one, um, I think I got like that Brighton bag. I honestly don't even remember anymore what else, but you would have seen it in the video. Got this guy. This is a Madewell tote. These bags just age beautifully. Like, look at the patina this one has gotten. This is the patina that you want your bag to get, especially when it's this beautiful, like, golden brown color. Like, it just looks like a fun ombre. I really enjoy it. This one is, uh, beautiful. Uh, the only thing is it's missing the original crossbody strap that goes with it, but it still has the D-rings on the interior. You can just attach a crossbody strap to this. There's one interior zipper pocket, and this one, this one was $4.99. This was another one where the sticker was on the outside, but I put it in the inside zipper. And, um, this one would be cool with, like, a guitar strap. I feel like that kind of, like... That kind of strap lends itself to this kind of, like, distressed leather style. So I thought, uh, that would be... 
like a nice little touch, you know? Or you can just do like a brown strap or like a contrasting color or whatever. Whatever you whatever tickles your fancy. But $4.99 made well tote bag. Beautiful. Then up next, I have this guy right here. And this is a Mark by Mark Jacobs satchel. And it's in a patent, uh, like snake embossed. I think it's a coated canvas. I don't think it's leather. The straps and like the, um, the trim are in leather. And then we have gold hardware. This is a great bag. It's in fantastic condition. It, it did have a couple little marks on it, like this one. Um, I know this will come off, but I actually think I have a wipe right here. I was using it for something else. This should get this off. Because this wipe is kind of like an antibacterial wipe, so it has a little bit of alcohol in it. And when bags have scuff marks like that, sometimes that's all you need. The scuff marks, those like white ones, are usually when you like rub up against a wall or something. And some of that paint just like sticks to your bag. And if you see here, it is now gone. So that's all it needed. The bag's in fantastic condition. My favorite part about this guy too is not only does it have like this fun turn lock right here, which is like, it actually closes the bag. The interior is in this beautiful bright green. How fun is that? Um, this guy was $13. It's a bummer though that they wrote the price right there. I wonder if, will this wipe take any of it off? No, not really. I don't know. We'll see about removing that. But otherwise, like, the interior is in such good condition. It's just that. This also does have, like, a longer strap as well. So, that's fantastic. Then up next, um, I have this little coach shoulder bag. And this one is in suede. This is in a navy color. This little shoulder bag. It even still has the little um, hang tag on there. This one is made in China. So it's a vintage bag. It's an older style, but it is new enough that it was made in China, but it still is considered vintage, I believe, from when this bag was first released. Um, it has these little leather feet on the bottom, just like a smooth leather, and along with a strap. I do like that it has this little detail right here. And I actually have, like, you can actually put, like, um, uh, what's it called? Like a strap lengthener on here if you wanted, but this is like a good little shoulder bag, right? Um, I used to have, oh, did I have one right here? Man, I do not have it right here. Where did I put them? But I guess I lost them. Anyway, this guy, so cute. This one was $9.99, so this one's 10 bucks. All right, and then up next, oh, this one was such a cool find. Okay, this is a vintage Chloe bag. So it's not like a C by Chloe. This is like regular Chloe. This bag was hundreds of dollars. And it has like this detail where it has these zippers that go all around the bag. And you can open them and then extends the bag a little bit. Like it makes it um, open up a little. The only thing is um, these two guys are missing the zipper pulls. You can just easily attach something else on there because like the zippers actually still do work. They are just missing these little pulls right there. And then the interior um, does have some wear. It could use a little bit of a cleaning, but like nothing crazy. There's no crazy marks inside. There's one zipper pocket in the interior. Now, this was $10. Yeah, it's just a great little tote bag. It even does sit on your shoulders. You can carry it like that as well. And I think it's really cute. There also is a little D-ring right here, but there's only one. You can't actually wear it as a crossbody. This is definitely just a top handle type bag. Um, but the leather is so, like, thick and sturdy. You can definitely fill this up. Um, this is also a good candidate for, like, dyeing. Like, if you want to dye it a different color, this would be pretty fun. But I do kind of like the color way it is right now. I feel like these colors are very, like, in fashion at the moment. And then our last item, last but not least, this great coach, um, Le Pliage shoulder bag. I actually just got a black one not too long ago in all leather, and then now I have this beautiful 
brown one. I love the color. I actually just um, conditioned this one up. I think I just need to do another round of conditioning and then maybe just like sealing it in with a like a leather polish type product to seal in the moisture. But it just looks so, so good. It used to have like really dry leather on the sides. Um, I did the front um, almost to completion. Um, I think this side was Kind of, this is kind of like how it looked, but like times 10. Like this was like pictures that all over the bag. And this is just like your, like the leather is skin, like skin of an animal, just like on your arm or whatever. If your skin is dry, it can get ashy if something like rubs up against it. The same thing happens with this. So sometimes when you have those light marks on the bag, it's actually just dry leather. So if you bring that moisture back into it, just like in your skin, the ashiness goes away and that's the same thing that happens to the leather. So sometimes you get lucky and a bag is just dry and it just needs that moisture reintroduced back into itself and then it'll bring that color back. And that was actually the case with this guy. So I just need to do a couple more conditioning passes on here and it should look beautiful and I think it already looks really really good it was looking really really dry before so there's that and what should I get this guy for um this guy was $39 um this one I got from Anaheim Thrift I didn't film in there though because they don't allow filming inside but yeah this is the only bag that I got there it's just kind of like down the street or not down the street but it's kind of like on the same street as a Goodwill in Anaheim so there you go and I think that's it so that is actually going to round out today's video hope you guys had fun checking out the stores and what I got if you guys enjoyed the video please give the video a thumbs up that always helps the channel immensely don't forget to check out the live sales I have them all scheduled for the rest of the month just hit the little video tab right at the top of my YouTube channel page and all the scheduled lives should be there I also do um kind of like sporadic lives throughout the week so if you guys would like to uh, be notified when that happens, just subscribe to the channel and also follow me on Instagram because I will post when the lives are going to happen there. And also follow me on Discord. I have a little Discord group where um, all of the fellow Thrift Squad members can chat and I, th I think we have a blast on there. So uh, consider joining. All the links are down below in the description box. Tune in tomorrow but early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I do post videos every single day at 7 a.m. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Alright, bye guys!